our grounds with all of the short reeds that's on the market today. Everybody seems to be blowing short reeds. Nobody, you never see a fluke call anymore, hardly ever. Um, is there still room on your lanyard for a fluke call? Most definitely. Because today, in this day and time, when everybody's using the same thing, short reeds. All right, so all the short reeds are not the same. I'm not saying that. But a flute has a different tone to it. Um, some guys you'll hear, I like to flute over the water. Personally, I didn't carry a water lanyard and a, and a lamb lanyard, okay? But a cluck, and a moan, probably killed as many geese with that sound right there as I had anything. But definitely a spot for it. Um, they're inexpensive, but you're blowing instead of popping the air. Right. Your tongue's coming, I'm overemphasized, but between your teeth, it's like a cork in a wine bottle. But with a short reed, your tongue's coming up, popping. Not always, sometimes it's like you're yawning and you're just, the air makes the reed quit vibrating. I wouldn't I wouldn't go to the field without one. You know, in Southern Illinois, we don't get the geese like we used to, but it's still a killing machine. Well, let's let everybody hear what two guys blowing a flute call sounds like. I'm just gonna follow you. Okay and let you go. All right, all right. on like, the guide's best and you got the variable the guide's, tone built, the, the guide's best the variable tone honker they're just tuned a little bit different we got them in different materials and camouflage but if you want to check us out check us out www.timgrounds.com uh, emails tim at timgrounds.com or the phone number here in the shop 618-983-5649 and just keep on a clucking <laughs>